Hey, Robin Lockman here with Harness, and today we're going to be looking at some traffic splitting using Harness and Istio. Now, from part one of our blog series, there's a few pieces of infrastructure we need for this example to work. On the left, I fired up Minikube, and on the right, since I deleted my Minikube instance, I went ahead and reapplied the Istio demo installation from the Istio project. For the example, these particular pieces will work just fine. Now, with those two pieces out of the way, let's go ahead and get cracking in the Harness platform. Here we are in the Harness platform. We're making an application called MyK8s. We have a few bits and pieces here, but we can stitch these together quite quickly. So currently, I have an application or a service called Nginx K8s. We'll get back to that later. But let's go ahead and make a workflow to take advantage of the traffic split. So if you don't have one, let's go ahead and make one. Let's make one called SEO Canary. We're going to have this as a Canary deployment. Now let's say we're going to have this set to our production environment. So inside of Istio Canary, we have to add a deployment phase for the Canary. Let's go ahead and do that now. We have our service, and also I'll be deploying to Minikube. Perfect. For the verify command, let's go ahead and add a traffic split. Let's give the canary 20% of the traffic. Now let's go ahead and give the stable 80%. Click submit. So with that, let's go ahead and wrap that in a pipeline also. Let's add a pipeline. Let's just call this Istio. Let's go ahead and install a stage. And we're gonna execute a workflow called Istio Canary. Perfect. So now here's where some of the magic comes in. If you go back to the services, we have one created here called Nginx Cades. All we are, we're pulling in an Nginx image from Docker Hub. Very straightforward. Now the Harness platform has the ability to apply YAMLs on your behalf. So for us to leverage Istio, we're gonna need to get a destination rule and a virtual service in. And also, since we're using Harness, we can also take into account workflow variables. Let's go ahead and make a new file. By coming over by templates, add file. Let's add a file called istio.yaml. Once you have the file set up, in the Harness documentation, we talk about the the minimum viable rules that we need for destination rule and a virtual service. So in our istio.yaml, we can go ahead and paste that in. So here we go. Click save. Fantastic. Now let's go ahead and run our deployment. We start a new deployment. My k select the pipeline. We select the build and version number. And that's it. Click submit. Now let's watch the magic happen. And as quick as that, our particular deployment happened. We go into the traffic split and seeing that, remember our weights, 80 20. And just like that, we've had a canary deployment using Istio. As simple as that. Hopefully you found this useful and stay tuned for our webinar. Cheers, Robbie.